This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. E-Health Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in health care and wellness who are changing health care as we know it. For more E-Health Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at E-Health Radio Network. Today on the program, we're speaking with Dr. Lydia Alexander, the president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association and chief medical officer at Inara Health. Inara Health is an all-in-one digital weight management platform that puts doctors back in the care loop and provides results on par with bariatric surgery. And Dr. Alexander, thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Eric. It's a pleasure. You're certainly more than welcome. Looking forward to learning more about Anara Health as well. So for starters, get into who is Anara Health and when was the company founded? Uh, give us some background on that as we get things underway here today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Anara Health is uh, is a company, as you mentioned, uh, very perfectly and succinctly, uh, that's building a platform and network to scale medical obesity treatment. Uh, which is very different from uh, from commercial weight loss. And uh, our platform allows medical groups uh, and health partners around the country to launch insurance covered obesity programs with a multidisciplinary network of uh, caring medical providers, nutritionists and exercise specialists that we provide um, as the staff. So it's really uh, you know a business to business, a B2B um, solution for uh, for medical groups and uh, and other healthcare practices. And, uh, and so we're just really an all-in-one platform for physicians um, to offer this type of care uh, to their patients. The, um, you know, as, as many of us uh, may know or may have noticed and uh, maybe don't have the percentages as I do, but the, um, the majority of the country is having a, a, a weight issue. So uh, between overweight and obesity, uh, nearly three quarters, 75% of the United States, people are, um, are really struggling with this and, uh, and it's uh, severely affecting their health. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, during COVID, the, um, the CDC and NIH uh, presented data and found that, the, um, uh, that one of the five largest drivers of, of, uh, of severe COVID illness that led to hospitalization and, uh, and, and more serious disease, uh, obviously, was, uh, was weight, was obesity. And so, uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a serious thing because it causes inflammation throughout the body and, uh, and uh, you know, brings with it a lot of, uh, you know, other issues and, and diseases. So in terms of Inara, it was founded uh, back in 2014 uh, by, uh, by my partner, uh, who's the CEO and founder, his name is Dr. Rami Bailoni, um, who's a, an amazing individual, and I would say quite a visionary um, around this. He um, uh, uh, did some uh, work out of, uh, he, he uh, did his medical training at UCSF, and, uh, and then at Stanford worked in an entrepreneurial sort of setting, and, uh, and kind of put the two together uh, with the idea to, um, to manage two things. One was type 2 diabetes and, uh, and reversing that, and also noticed that there was a lot of stigma around weight and, uh, and around uh, you know, disease in th- that involved weight and, and wanted to find a way to, um, uh, to change that so that people could get what they needed without feeling guilt and shame. And, uh, and so he created this platform that uh, would be, well, he created a service and opened an obesity clinic first and sort of cracked the code around how do you get um, sustained weight loss over a long period of time because that's what makes people feel better. Um, that's what improves medical outcomes, but it's also what people want. You don't want to be going up and down, up and down, uh, having success and then and then you know falling back and 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 losing all that success and feeling, you know, feeling bad about it and uh, and and feeling as though it was all this effort and uh, and now you're back at the starting point. And so he created uh, Anara, which is a multidisciplinary uh, medical group where there's a medical provider who's an obesity specialist, uh, a uh, registered 
dietitian or nutritionist who helps with, uh, with that area, an exercise specialist that, that helps with, with uh, physical activity, and a behavioral psychologist who, uh, who helps on that, on that area. And so these are really the four pillars of what we call you know, weight management or obesity treatment. And so he uh, uh, founded a clinic in San Mateo, California, Silicon Valley, uh, right outside of San Francisco. And that was really the Petri dish for about five years of, uh, of understanding what's the secret sauce. How do you create an algorithm uh, that serves, you know, it's not just one size fits all, it serves many, many people with, uh, you know, it's a multifactorial chronic disease. How do you, how do you serve all those different people? And, um, and what he understood there to be is um, that you need precision moments, the right therapy at the right time. And, uh, and so Inara does provide that. There aren't, you know, we don't have diets, there, there are no fads. Um, we don't subscribe to any different type of, you know, diet per se. It's about understanding that individual's experience and journey and customizing what's going to work for them. And so we use data and emerging science to customize, you know, de and design interventions that drive sustained weight loss. And with this multidisciplinary approach, uh, we, you know, we take care uh, of the individual, like mind, body, health, uh, sort of what we call like a 600 or 360 degree um, approach. And, um, and we treat and understand what sleep looks like for that person, stress, mood, um, their metabolic profile, um, their, uh, their, their genetic makeup, um, their physical activity. And, uh, and then we integrate it at the level of healthcare because they're you know, physicians, nurse practitioners, physician assistants who put that all together and, um, and, and, work, with, uh, and work with each individual. Um, and our average you know, uh, uh, weight loss is about 41 pounds. Uh, it, it very much does vary depending on what that individual has to lose. Uh, but from a percentage standpoint, the uh, average person loses about 16% of their body weight, so 16% of themselves, and maintains it over, uh, over 48 months. We have data that we'll be publishing uh, soon that uh, that will show that our, our our previous publications have been up to 24 months. So uh, so that's what Dr. Beluni uh, uh, created, and I joined about two and a half years ago as things were starting to um, to to get you know too big for just you know um, him to manage as the chief medical officer. Well, we certainly appreciate the full report. That is very helpful as well, and some good information. As we continue on here now, what are some common misconceptions on obesity that you feel importantly about that should be addressed? Um, I would say one of the most uh, common or the most common is, uh, is really that obesity is a personal failing, um, that it's happened to you because, uh, because you're not, because you don't, um, because you don't care, because you don't have willpower, and, um, and it's just a, an indication that you're um, that you're not trying hard enough. And, uh, and we know from years and years of research that that's really not the case. Uh, in 2013, the American Medical Association, the AMA, uh, made obesity a disease uh, because we realized that it's a, it's a neuroendocrine malfunction and that the body is getting signals uh, saying, you know, you, uh, you're hungry. It's sending uh, hunger hormone signals, reducing satiety signals, and there are over a dozen different hormones that regulate this entire system. It's not sort of just left willy nilly for, you know, for, uh, you know, for us to decide, uh, you know, when that happens, we get, you know, we get neuro, uh, neuroendocrine signaling saying you're hungry. And so there's sort of a, a mismatch where the body does not read that someone has enough energy stores and does not need uh, to to uh, to take in more of them, and uh, and so there's a driver that way, and and there are a lot of different reasons that that can uh, that that can happen, and so I think that's the biggest uh, you know sort of the biggest misconception as that this is something that is your own fault, and so you should deal with it by yourself or you should deal with it on your own. Um, and if it can't, that means that you're a weak individual. And, uh, and we don't treat other diseases this way. Uh, obesity uh, is, uh, is much like 
uh, addiction uh, and, uh, and the whole area of addiction medicine was maybe two, 20 or 30 years ago. Um, I would say the same is true of depression, uh, you know, 30, 40 years ago where, uh, you know, you just say, hey, you know, you're, um, you're, you just don't have enough appreciation for what's going on. If you would just go outside and, you know, uh, you know, get some sun and smile, you'd be better off. And, uh, and clinical depression does not work that way. And, uh, and addiction medicine doesn't, uh, or addiction rather, doesn't work by, you know, just trying a little bit harder. So I'd say that for me, uh, the shame and, uh, and guilt and blame people um, attribute to themselves and society does too and the judgment uh, is, is, uh, is a big obstacle. Dr. Alexander, really appreciate your feedback there. That is very helpful and important that you did address it so I can understand in all regards. Now, if you would also illustrate any successes and or provide examples on Anara's program, that would be great if you could do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, you know, we've been at this for a while and, the, you know, we've got uh, tons of data in, in this area, but some personal examples, gosh, uh, I've got so many. I, um, I can think of one uh, particular patient who, um, uh, near and dear to my heart, I, I started seeing this individual um, two and a half years ago when I started working with Anara and, um, and uh, you know, was really in a bad space, had been... Um, uh, had some uh, drug addiction issues earlier in life and, um, uh, you know, and cocaine, meth, certain things like that. And um, had, I had caused damage to, um, uh, to their heart and I uh, had heart failure and I uh, had to stop working uh, because they uh, and went on disability because they were not able to, um, you know, to walk without becoming short of breath. We're on, oh gosh, uh, I believe seven different blood pressure medications. Um, had prediabetes that was turning into type 2 diabetes, and um, cholesterol issues, had gained um, a, a lot of weight, and, uh, and also had depression, uh, so some very major depression, trying to raise three children, uh, unemployed, COVID hit, uh, had to go live with their parents, and, uh, and that's when I met that person. And, and we're working together, um, established a, uh, you know, a trusting bond and, um, and a longitudinal relationship with our team, with the, with the nutrition specialist, with the exercise uh, specialist, with our clinical psychologist who they saw and, um, and with the, you know, correct treatment and, uh, and, and FDA approved medication for, um, for weight management and weight loss, I lost uh, 60, 70 pounds, uh, is on two blood pressure medications, really nothing else. Uh, heart failure has reversed and was able then to, uh, you know, to move around the world without getting short of breath, without having those issues, uh, got a job. And, uh, and as a result of that was much more physically active because it was a physically, uh, you know, uh, a, a job that uh, required a lot of physical activity. I was able to be the breadwinner in the family. I felt a lot better mentally, uh, went off the blood pressure or the uh, uh, antidepressive medication. And, uh, and we had put them on, uh, on, a, on a weight loss medication that's FDA approved uh, for that and long-term use uh, called Sixenda. And that, which is uh, liraglutide is the generic name for it, and, uh, and has been uh, doing phenomenally well. As a result of this, uh, th this person, again, was able to get a, um, uh, a heart surgery that, uh, to reverse another issue that they had. It was, it's called an aortic dissection, and uh, that was considered too high risk a few years ago uh, for them to get. And so, uh, so I, I see that, and this is the whole entire reason I went into uh, the practice of obesity medicine and became board certified in this, uh, in this field is because uh, you literally uh, give people back the, their health. It's like the labor and delivery, I always call it, of adult medicine. Uh, it's, uh, it's inspiring. Uh, it's wonderful to see people uh, you know, turn around and, and really like reverse the hands of, you know, aging and time and, and, and become a better version of themselves, both uh, mentally and physically. Such a fantastic report. And I'm sure you have grabbed the attention of the audience from that one example right there and a big example for sure. Today, we're speaking with Dr. Lydia Alexander, the president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association and chief medical officer at Anara Health. 
an all-in-one digital weight management platform that puts doctors back in the care loop and provides results on par with bariatric surgery here on ELF Radio's health news and weight management channels, a part of the ELF Radio network. Now, also, uh, I recently came across an era's partnerships with Phoenix Heart Center, San Diego's Caffrey Heart and Vascular Clinic, and Minnesota's Mankato Clinic. Can you delve into how these partnerships enable an era to scale as well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so these partnerships really uh, what we do instead of, uh, of, of being a, uh, a B2C or a, a business to consumer you know, uh, relationship or, 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 or weight management solution, which, uh, you know, we do have our Petri dish in San Mateo is exactly that it's B2C. Um, these partnerships uh, uh, you know, allow those practices. So, for instance, Mankato uh, uh, Clinic, and I'm going to be flying out there later on today to uh, uh, to talk to them and uh, and uh, and meet some people there uh, as well. They um, uh, that's a large medical group. Uh, they have 26,000 patients uh, with uh, with obesity, and uh, and and they're you know, 180 different providers there who are very, very busy managing a lot of the chronic conditions that we do as uh, as internists, as uh, internal medicine providers, of which I am also, you know, board certified uh, in, uh, that's my primary field. And so what we do is we are the, uh, you know, the plug-in solution or platform where um, these medical providers can uh, refer a patient to ANARA who is having a who is having a weight issue, and uh, and then our um, our staffing and our platform help manage them. So we welcome them to our to our uh, you know to our obesity service, and uh, and and get to know them, find the right fit, and uh, and help them uh, not only lose the weight, which I always say losing weight is sort of part A, and uh, and we definitely get you there and help you do that. In uh, in in a, a pretty quick you know uh, you know period of time that you know our, our average weight loss at six months is is over ten percent and uh, but it's not just that it's the part B is the uh, is the sustained weight loss and so uh, it's sort of like uh, you know pregnancy is very exciting and it's very you know fun and everyone tells you wow you're glowing you look great this is wonderful and that's kind of how we think about weight loss where you're losing weight and and everyone's very supportive and then you get to your goal and um, and then where's the you know where's the support there what do you do at that point and uh, and I'd say that's where we really have a strength it's where it's the holy grail of weight loss is to keep it off and uh, and so we do that and it's you know it's the pregnancy and then the baby's born and you got to raise that baby and that takes a long you know that takes a village and so Anara provides that village um, for the individual and also for the medical group so their you know their patients can get the care um, that they need from us and when that happens all of these different chronic diseases that um, as primary care providers we're all managing the you know sleep apnea type 2 diabetes um, blood pressure issues cholesterol uh, depression all the different joint and uh, you know joint pains and you know, aches that happen if, you know, because of mechanical reasons, if you're not at the right weight, it's hard on the joints, um, gallbladder issues, you know, the list goes on and on. There are over 200 different conditions, including a lot of cancers that are related to, um, to obesity. And so uh, rather than playing whack-a-mole with each one of these conditions, we treat the root cause and that reverses a lot of these diseases, gives people their life back, and um, and so it's really a collaboration with uh, with these different medical groups, with Phoenix Heart, with Capri Clinic, with Mankato, that um, that helps make their patient population that they're working with healthier. And we do it in um, in a collaborative way, a communicative way, so uh, so that we keep working with the patient. It's a minimum one year. Um, uh, membership for for uh, for people to join our program because it's not a quick fix. It's a it, it's a long term it's a long term issue and and I think that collaboration, the communication, our you know our our uh, our deep expertise, uh, our precision medicine approach, and the algorithm that we have based on our uh, on our our six plus years of experience gathering data and making data driven decisions to manage uh, people's weight and health um, has these amazing 
outcomes that are literally nearly on par with sleep gastrectomy. At uh, 36 and 48 months out, we have uh, over 16% average weight loss across all the people who come uh, to see us for these weight issues. So that's really what we're doing. We're partnering uh, with uh, large medical groups to be their solution uh, to this. By the way, congratulations on your position as president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association. I had meant to do that earlier. Now, tell me, what are some of your goals in your newly appointed position as president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association that you hope to accomplish? Yeah, absolutely. So the Obesity Medicine Association is the largest clinical uh, uh, medical clinical association uh, for the treatment of obesity uh, in, in the country. Uh, we have nearly 5,000 uh, uh, primary care providers and, and so forth, medical professionals, uh, MDs, DOs, MPPAs, that's sort of like the primary group. And, um, and we're all passionate about uh, treating obesity. And uh, the OMA provides uh, clinical education uh, to um, to medical professionals so they can also learn how to treat obesity in uh, in their practices. And so what I'm really excited about in terms of what the OMA is doing, and thank you very much for uh, you know for the for the kudos. I'm excited to be uh, president elect and uh, and to be doing this sort of on a macro scale to be changing how we think about um, obesity and and reversing the obesity epidemic because it has such a high cost to healthcare and to every single person who who's affected by it. And so we're working in terms of advocacy, uh, which is to get uh, coverage for obesity medications, uh, just like you would any other prescription medication for uh, for, a, for a weight, you know, for weight condition. You know, no one tells you you can't, you know, you're not, uh, insurance will cover your thyroid medication, your blood pressure medication, your antidepressant medication, medication you may need because you're treating addiction. And, uh, and, should cover all obesity medications as well. And in fact, Medicaid in California since uh, the beginning of 2022 does cover all FDA approved medications for obesity without prior authorization, which is just amazing. And so we're trying to get the same type of coverage for, uh, uh, for Medicare across the country so that everyone can have access to better health because you need also to have you know, at the full toolbox uh, to treat any disease and obesity is no different. So that's a big one. Uh, our treat and refer uh, uh, campaign. So, you know, for primary care partners to treat or primary care physicians to treat, uh, you know, obesity and we give them the tools. And then when it becomes very complex, if it's at a higher level of complexity that it needs a specialist to refer it so that everybody gets the care that they need. And so those are two um, two of the main aspects of our strategic plan that we just laid out uh, this past summer. Dr. Alexander, really have appreciated your time spent with us here today. Also really appreciate what you're doing in the space through Obesity Medicine Association. As we conclude today, if you could provide our listeners with tips and healthier alternatives for people cooking and looking for healthier options as we have just gotten a new year underway. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say you know, I think of it in a lot of different ways, but um, briefly, um, if, uh, if, you, uh, if you love to cook, uh, you know, uh, places like I would say Trader Joe's, I know that's not maybe available across the country or, or like-minded places, you could find a lot of great um, healthy options there that are already pre-prepped partly uh, that'll help you do that. I think meal planning and, uh, and prepping earlier, like prepping on a weekend for the entire week, uh, you know, makes it better. The um, I, I think there's some great uh, services out there that will, you know, that will provide you, you know, deliver food for all the busy, you know, people who, uh, you know, who are managing a lot or working a couple different jobs and may not have time to um, to prepare on their own. Um, but some, uh, you know, some some easy tips, I think uh, my favorite uh, you know, my favorite uh, easy dessert would just be uh, melting some chocolate and uh, and twirling a strawberry in it. That's absolutely delicious. Um, the uh, you know other um, other easy things would be uh, you know making some uh, you know scrambled eggs, uh, egg bites uh, for you know for for dinner or other you know uh, you know or or lunch really. There are um, a lot of uh, great options where uh, you could get roasted vegetables and other prep vegetables if you don't have time to do it. So I'd say those are some tips. 
and uh, and uh, another one that's sort of ubiquitous would be uh, to read the food label and the fewer ingredients in something, uh, you know, the better off you are. So when you pick up an apple or a vegetable, uh, there's no ingredient label because it just is what it is. Uh, and uh, and so I'd say that is uh, it, that would be my 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 quick advice uh, right now. But there's so much more if you go to our website. Uh, www.anarahealth.com. We've got an entire recipe area um, that I just can't do justice in a couple minutes, and we'll give you some great, great ideas. Uh, we have a team of uh, over uh, two dozen, oh, actually three dozen, uh, you know, uh, clinical providers uh, who know all about this, and uh, you know, and blog blog posts uh, for us, and uh, and have all those great recipes out there to make this. Uh, simple and uh, and reproducible for anyone on a budget and uh, and who's got a lot going on. And of course, thanks for those tips and advice. Much appreciated. And listeners, we'll leave that link also within the show notes of this broadcast, as we always do. Again, folks, it is anarahealth.com. Dr. Alexander, thank you so much for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Uh, it was absolutely my pleasure, Eric. Thank you so much for having me. And you're more than welcome anytime. We've been speaking with Dr. Lydia Alexander, the president-elect of the Obesity Medicine Association and chief medical officer at Anara Health, an all-in-one digital weight management platform that puts doctors back in the care loop and provides results on par with bariatric surgery. And for all the details, once again, visit anarahealth.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Health Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com. 